When Harold Holt became Australia's 17th Prime Minister on the 26th of January 1966, he may have given some thought to how his time in office would end. Perhaps he'd lose an election, or resign like his predecessor, or maybe get dumped by his own party. But Harold nor anyone else could have foreseen that his time as Prime Minister would end not at the polling booth or the party room, but at a beach. As the end of 1967 approached, Harold Holt decided to leave his wife Zara behind in Canberra and had a weekend away with friends in Victoria, along with his lover Marjorie Gillespie, her daughter and two family friends Holt found himself at Cheviot Beach on the 17th of December. A lifelong lover of swimming, Holt had been to the beach plenty of times before and was confident in his own abilities. But on this day, Holt swam out further than anyone else in his group into turbulent waters and disappeared beneath the waves. Within the hour, Victoria Police began searching for any sign of Holt involving over 300 people across several days. But it was all for nothing. Harold Holt, the Australian Prime Minister, was never seen again. Though Victoria Police did carry out their own investigation, an official government inquiry wasn't held at the time of Holt's disappearance. The laws of the 1960s meant that one couldn't be held without the presence of a body to confirm death. The presumption of death wasn't enough. The lack of an inquiry and the fact that no trace of Holt was ever found enabled people's imaginations to run wild with ideas about what really happened. Though there are many theories out there, the prevailing ones suggest that Holt was either assassinated by the CIA in retaliation for secret plans to withdraw Australia from the Vietnam War, committed suicide from the stress of being Prime Minister, or, perhaps the wildest theory of them all, Holt was a secret Chinese spy who faked his own death so he could be picked up by a submarine and taken back to China. These are definitely peculiar explanations for what happened to Holt, but given the era in which he disappeared, there are reasons why many people bought into them. You have to remember that Holt was Prime Minister right in the middle of the Cold War, a time of espionage, political tension and global unease. And Holt certainly played a part through his alliance with the US and resistance to communism. And with the assassination of US President JFK still fresh in the public's mind, it's understandable how the idea of Holt meeting with foul play would propagate. And the police discovery of what may have been a bullet hole in Holt's office window before his disappearance also adds fuel to the assassination theory. Even former Labour Party leader Arthur Corwell had survived an assassination attempt a year before Holt's disappearance. But when you examine the idea that Holt was planning to withdraw troops from Vietnam, it doesn't hold up. The alliance between Australia and the US was strong, and the relationship between Holt and President Johnson stronger still, and none of Holt's actions suggested he was planning on pulling Australian forces out of Vietnam. Australia's involvement in Vietnam wouldn't begin to wind down until three years after Holt's disappearance. And besides, surely there must be less complicated ways of assassinating someone than at a beach. A depressed Holt going into the surf to end his life at least has some surface level sense. Holt would have had stress as Prime Minister, and the year leading up to his death definitely was a difficult one. Among other events, he was forced to hold a second inquiry into the sinking of the HMAS Voyager, got caught up in a scandal involving the misuse of VIP aircraft, and was having trouble coming out on top in parliamentary debates with the new opposition leader, Gough Whitlam. All of these things may have weighed on him, but to the point where his mental state deteriorated enough that he chose to take his own life? The people who knew Harold Holt best, his wife, children and parliamentary colleagues, didn't think so. They all reported him to be in good spirits leading up to his disappearance and said he had plans for his future and that of Australia. The theory that a sleeper agent Holt faked his own death 
so he could be collected by a submarine and returned to his Chinese communist masters, crashes out almost immediately. This idea was highlighted with the release of Anthony Gray's book, The Prime Minister Was a Spy. The book claims that Holt was leaking information to China throughout his parliamentary career and was spirited away in a submarine after his activities threatened to be exposed by ASIO. The book was widely ridiculed on release and its suggestions were debunked with some ease. The waters of Cheviot Beach are not very deep and there's no way a submarine could get anywhere near close enough to pick Holt up. And though Holt's policies encouraged a stronger relationship with Asian countries, China wasn't among them. Holt defecting to the Chinese was against his policies and character. In 2005, a formal inquiry was finally held into Harold Holt's disappearance and concluded that he drowned, as many people sadly do every year. The 57-year-old Holt took to the ocean against his doctor's advice to reduce strenuous physical activities. He was also taking medication for a shoulder injury, which may have hampered his ability to resist the rough waters of Cheviot Beach. But perhaps the most compelling reason to believe that Harold Holt drowned is that he'd nearly drowned earlier in the year, at the very same beach. It's even alleged that Holt told his companions that it was the closest he'd ever come to drowning. In the end, Holt overestimated his abilities, and the ocean claimed another victim. Even today, swimming isn't allowed at Cheviot Beach, due to its rough conditions that continue to invite tragedy. Thank you for watching this video. If you know someone else that might find this video interesting, then feel free to share it with them. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, then please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you for the next one. Be good to yourselves.